Hey there everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are looking to learn to level the bed of your 3D printer, in this case we'll be using the Creality Ender 3 V2, but this should work for many other devices as well. So stay tuned, we're going to cover how to do that in today's video. Now before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so to show two quick examples, these are things that I've already printed. This one I got online. This one actually was included. It's a file that was included with the printer when I got it, so it was already on that micro SD card. But you'll see we have pretty clean prints. Now, I will say that on this one, it's not as clean. Also, I did a terrible job painting these with primer, so you'll have to kind of excuse some of the mistakes there, but just kind of quick examples. So when we're cleaning this product, you're going to want to make sure that you use whatever cleaning products that work best for your print bed. Some are glass. They all have different materials, or at least some do. So in my case, what's worked for me so far is isopropyl rubbing alcohol and basically just a paper towel. I've heard people say that you should only do that on the first clean and then from then on you can use like soap and water. I've also seen people recommend a soap mixture. So just make sure that you're using whatever works best for your bed and you're following any and all instructions that are relevant for safety reasons as well. All right, so jumping straight in, we're leveling this. So the first thing that we're going to do is turn the printer on in the back and make sure you're doing this in accordance with your printer's instructions and manual. This is just for educational purposes and how I do it. So the first thing you'll do is, or at least what I like to do, I like to clean the bed first because you're going to put a little pressure while cleaning it. So I don't want to risk going through once I'm done and actually uh, leveling the bed and then clean it and then potentially put it off balance a little bit. They, it shouldn't be that big of an issue, but I like to be careful. So first thing that we're going to do is you have to set your limit switch on the side in the correct position. So I'm going to take this off the tripod really quickly and I'll show you what I'm referring to. So we have the print bed here and then we have this little limit switch right here and I'll press it so that you can hear the click. So basically that switch is what's going to tell this, okay, we've hit the bed or where the bed should be. We're kind of at the home place. So these switches exist on various areas of the printer to help it know exactly when it's hit a certain boundary, so to speak. So that's the best way I can describe it at least. So this switch for me, you can see that I've installed it and I have an installation video or assembly video for this, which I'll put in the description but you have two separate screws that require an Allen wrench here. So the first thing that you're going to want to do to avoid potentially damaging any parts is make sure that this axis and the print head and everything else are not actually hitting the bed when it's at its lowest point. The lowest point is when it's depressing this button here. So the idea is you want to get this set up in a place where it's about to touch the bed, but not quite. So to give you an example, we're gonna go over here to prepare and we're going to disable stepper. And I actually hit the wrong button. So you'll see it's actually gonna home, which is fine just to show you basically what it's gonna look like when it does that. And then we'll disable the stepper, which is a step we'll need next. So you'll see it gets very, very close. The camera may not be able to pick it up, but it's not actually touching. So what we're going to do now is go up to disable stepper. And then when you do this, you have the option to rotate this and you can control where this print head is as well as manually move the print bed. So what you're going to want to do is set this to where it's relatively close to the print bed where you're comfortable with a margin of error. And then you're going to mount this where it's basically depressing this button. So the idea is if I wanted this to go no lower than this point, I would move this up to where the button is depressed at this specific location. That means it's the lowest it will go. The reason you want a little bit of room for play in this example is we are actually getting it leveled because we want it to be essentially as close to possible to the bed without technically touching it. So the idea here, again, very, very simple. Just make sure that you have this lowered to a point like this, and then you've moved this button up. 
That way, when you go to set this to auto home, it's not going to jam into the bread and then scratch it or anything. So once you have that set up, that's actually the hardest part. So we'll put this back on the tripod really quickly. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna take our sheet of paper and make sure that again, yours isn't going any lower than it should and it's not gonna hit or damage the bed or anything else. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure if you have any clips or anything holding this in place, you make a note of where they are because when you disable the stepper, it's going to basically cut the power to these so that you can move them manually without damaging the machine. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're not clipping it when you're moving it around. So what we're doing is I'm saying, okay, I have one here and one up here. I'm good to go there. Now we will put our sheet of paper, push this back in place, and then we are going to click auto home. So now the stepper is going to be enabled and you'll see it's going to put you in the bottom left corner. You'll hear some clicking when it's touching those buttons we were just talking about. And then at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in a little bit to show the process, which is the same for many. So the first thing, go over here on your screen and hit the disable stepper option. Now you should be able to move this without having any issues. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna, I like to pull mine out just a bit, just so I don't clip that piece that we were talking about earlier. And then you're going to want to pull your paper just a little bit, and you're wanting to get it to where it catches. So you have these wheels under each corner, so there should be four in total. So we'll do the front first, and you're going to want to make a note of which direction raises and lowers that corner. It's going to get frustrating if you're just guessing on everything. So what you wanna do is get this to the point where this corner that you're working on, when you pull this piece of paper, there's a little bit of resistance. If you can just yank it right out and you don't feel anything, then it's not touching. So the idea is this paper is basically the variance or the distance between the bottom of the nozzle and the print bed. There needs to be just enough room for this filament to come out. Not too much, not too little. So if you're unable to move the paper at all and it's jammed between the two, then the filament's not gonna come out. And if you can pull the paper easily, then there's gonna be too much room and it can cause issues with your print. So the idea is when you're doing this, it's going to be on all four corners. That way, each one is the exact same distance or as close to as possible. So what I found that's a little bit easier is it's really easy to do this, twist the knob a little bit and feel a little bit more resistance and then wonder, okay, is that too much? Is that not enough? So the idea is you don't want to have to struggle much at all. You should just be able to grab with both fingers and move a little bit. I can feel a little bit of resistance, almost like a vibrating. So we'll say that corner is okay. Now, when you move this over, you're going to want to be very careful because if you haven't leveled your bed yet, you could be at a point where when you push it across and do so carefully, you could be at a point where you're going to end up scratching into the plate if this side is way off balance. For example, when I first got my printer, this side, the axis was actually tilted down, so I almost moved it across too quickly and damaged it. So in this case, you're going to repeat the process for this corner. So in this case, this corner is a little bit harder to move than that one. So what we'll do is we'll make a very small adjustment. And you just want to keep making that adjustment in very, very small increments until you have the exact same amount of play. And now I feel that it feels the exact same. So now we're gonna bring this forward and do the exact same thing in the back, making sure to make a note of the clip back there. Another thing to note, if you're going to work from the bottom and go up and down with the paper, make that same motion on all four corners. The last thing that you wanna do is do an up and down motion on the bottom and then side to side on the top with different distances and tension and things of that nature. You just, you wanna use the same method for each four corners to make sure that you have the exact same distance between the print bed. So it feels correct on this side. 
So now we are going to slide it across. And it feels good on this side as well. Now, at this point, you're not done. You want to go around and do it again. And anytime you make an adjustment, go ahead and go all the way around one more time just to be safe. Just because you only change one side doesn't mean the other ones stay exactly where they need to. They could, but they may not. So in this case, we would go down here, check and see, because now this side doesn't feel as good as it did. So I'll make the adjustment, move over, repeat the process for all four corners. And then once I can go around all four without making any adjustments, we are all set. So the idea again is you just want to make sure that when this is done and you click auto home, that it's going to adjust and put you in the bottom left hand corner with this exactly where it should be. And by that, I mean, now I can move this paper with a little bit of resistance and that's where we would want it to be as it's printing on all sides. Once you've done this, you're technically done and you can go ahead and do your preheat and start printing. My recommendation is to make sure that once you finish this, when you start your print, typically this printer will have one or two lines that will go down on the far left hand side just to basically get some of that PLA out and make sure that, you know, any old PLA is not being used in the print. So you always want to kind of like a hot glue gun push out a little bit just to make sure that it's coming out correctly and it's not sticking. Often that initial bit or two of PLA will cause issues and same thing with other filaments. So it'll do its test line and then usually it'll outline the shape that it's going to print. So in the case of this, for example, it had a basic outline and then it printed the actual figure itself. So that is the perfect time for you to check and make sure that everything is coming out as expected. If the line is messed up on the far left, that doesn't mean anything just yet. You're just going to want to make sure that when it outlines the product itself, that there aren't any major issues. For example, if it's going around in a circle and you notice there's lines on one side but not on the other, that means that it's too close to the bed and it's not printing. If it doesn't look like it's sticking well, you may need to look up some videos on how to improve the bed adhesion. But the idea here is most of the time, if you notice any issues with lines not sticking or it seems like it's uneven, you can typically tell, OK, I need to raise or lower one side and you'll just stop the print and level the bed and then move forward. It's much easier to watch your print for the first five to 10 minutes and make sure everything comes out well than to sit there and have to redo an entire 20 plus hour print because the bed wasn't level. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.